Hello. Um, okay, I think we should play a little bit of uh, Multiverse, shall we? Wait, how do I get it? There we go. I can't remember where I put it. Did I put him there? Is that where I had it? All right. Um, I should have watched the old video back. Okay, so uh, before we start, I got uh, a comment on the last video. Uh, I've only done one video for Multiverse. From... Um, well, someone commented to give me some tips, uh, which was very helpful. Thank you. Uh, not much to say, but you had something to say. But then another guy called Puffy McBill, uh, also known as Kix, was one of the mod devs came in and gave me some information. So thank you very much. Um, fantastic mod. As uh, I replied to him saying how great it is, you should be very proud of the work. It's really fantastic. It's coming from another dev. So uh, it's really, really tight stuff. So thank you. Uh, let's play it again. I'll, I'm going to forget all of the hints and tips you gave me, but we're going to play it again. All right, new game. Kind of tempted to play on easy just to get through some stuff because I want to see what the flagship's like. But I don't know, maybe easy on this is not easy. Let's do this. Um, I wanted to try this just because I love the halberd beam. And then the combat L, does that mean you can switch it? Current mode, laser, basic combat toggle turns, laser and beam. That's pretty handy, isn't it? I like that. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. We are going to play easy. Yep, sorry. For hardcore enthusiasts. Oh, there are two. The, so what's this? Is there two modes? There's easy casual? What does easy mean? Nothing. Does like the cho what you choose there get overridden by what you do here? Normal mode. Standard mode plays the way the mod was originally designed. Oh, I want that. Yeah, okay. Uh, starting scrap 20. Starting fuel 12. Uh, some of the harder mini bosses won't spawn. The traveler merchant gives small free gift in the drop point and last hand. Yeah, I want to see the small free gift. A little bit of scrap, a little bit of fuel, what have you. Let's get into it. Okay. It is terrifying to think about what lies ahead. Go over the mission details one last time. You're in no ordinary ship, and this is no ordinary mission. You were born and raised in universe O. Zero? O. A reality where a heroic Federation vessel triumphed over the rebel flagship and ensured the Federation's victory. The Federation forces chased the rebels out of Node 17, the Federation capital. Unfortunately, not every reality had a ship like this. Nice. Set up the tension. The destruction of the flagship AI rendered all of the rebel automated vessels completely unable to act on their own. In a desperate last ditch distraction, the rebels gave one last command to all of their auto ships to go on a kamikaze run directly into any nearby Federation ships. This resulted in a horribly bloody massacre and Admiral Vance of the rebel fleet escaped unharmed. The massacre of Node 17 remained the last major battle of the Federation Civil War. The rebel forces were crippled, and the Federation quickly retook Universe O. This peace would not last when a rebel salvage operation stumbled across a startling piece of technology. A strange black cubicle vessel containing what would soon be known as the first multiverse drive. This was the beginning of something very, very bad. It must be Universe Zero. I've just realized that. The Rebels began the construction of a brand new fleet of ships wielding the power of this multiverse tech, which granted them the capability of traversing other realities. Many of such planets were still in the midst of the same civil war that the Universe Zero Rebels had lost. This was their chance at revenge. The new Rebel fleet overtook these realities with brutal efficiency, slaughtering the Federation forces and establishing a new galactic order in every single one they came across. Naturally. It was only a matter of time until the Federation of Universe Zero caught wind of this. They captured and reverse engineered the Rebel Multiverse tech and built their own fleet. Many others, whether they be civilians, pirates, aliens or some other group, also obtained multiverse drives and installed them on their ships. You are piloting one of these ships. Now that the line between realities has been blurred, it's impossible to truly tell how long this new endless war has been going on for. I like that. 
That's cool. The rebels and federation compete head on, invading new realities and trying to sway the ongoing civil war to their side. It is your task to hunt down the multiverse flagship the rebels have dispatched to this reality and destroy it before it can defeat this reality's federation. Good luck, Captain. So I like that. The only thing is, it's impossible to truly tell how long this new Endless War. Does that imply that time is also compromised in the multiverse? I'm not sure how you wouldn't be able to tell how long time is, but I really like it. I love the setup. Good writing, great idea. It's awesome. Okay, you hurry to your ship, but realize you still have a little time before you leave. You have like the time to grab one last thing. Grab a weapon, a drone, another crew member. How many crew members have we got? Three. Extra resources. I might want a weapon. Because we only have a halberd. Yeah, I'm going to grab a weapon, not a drone. Yeah, weapon. Shit. <laughs> it's a shitty one. You know what? That one, it, it can come in handy. Do we want to do something on board the ship? Talk to your crew. Always like talking to the crew. Look for the human crew. Uh, look for your human. Look for your engineer. Wait. I have an engine? No. What does that mean? Let's go with the engineer. Talk to them. Your engineer wonders why they take less damage from fires. Hmm. Interesting and convenient to know. Let's do nothing. Let's get out of here. Okay. Straight to the merchant. No, we can go here. Oh. Here, here, here. We can't go round about. Let's go up here. Piers, the beacon was home to the Federation outpost, or at least it was until a band of pirates came by. Pirates. Fuck the pirates. They got one shield. We can cut through it with the halberd. Oop. Got to power this thing up, though. Attack the pirates. Continue. Why is it not? Get ready to prepare for combat. What do you want to do? Change your toggle or amp drones. Oh, okay, so I can change my drone to different sizes. I'm not going to use the drone right now. No last-minute checkups. Do nothing. Why wouldn't it let me power that? That was annoying. Um, I don't need to waste money. Oh, do it. No, I don't need to waste money on this right now. So, uh, we're just going to do that. So, you see, what we want to do is we want to cut through the shield. This is obvious if you played FTL. But we want the beam to cut through the shield. So, if it depowers the shield, we'll get full damage when it hits the weapons and the engine room. Which it just did. There you go. We didn't need to change that. We could have done the same shot again. But Halberd beam is an awesome weapon. Boyakasha! Oh, look at the floating weapons. <laughs> Salvage and remaining spines, 12 scrap, 1 fuel, 6 fuel. Holy shit. Yeah, there's a lot of fuel in this mod. Fuel is not an issue. Which is probably the least enjoyable part of the vanilla game anyway. I hate running out of fuel. It's just not... I guess it's cool narrative, but it's not fun when it happens to you. Uh, should I go here? Oh, this is a store as well, but in distress. So I rescue the store... I think that's what happens. You can rescue the store and then trade there if you want. Distress call from a small trading outpost. Help! Our automated ship has gone haywire and is attacking us. Let's rescue the store. Okay, I'm going to um, combat drone. Yeah, I want to put him on beam because beam is uh, devastating. Uh, do nothing. We're going to start this. No, I don't want to do that, do I? I want to, I want to... This is one of those things where this design of this ship, will it let me get three? Four? I don't think it will. Oh, I didn't. Stupid fool, I didn't send out my drone. Oh. Come on. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Damn, that was shitty. All right, I gotta get my brain in the game. I'm already doing badly. Oh my God. There we go. Now we're doing it. Yeah, I gotta get my head in the game. I'm all over the place. Shouldn't have taken any any damage there. Twenty four scrap, two fuel, one missile. Store offers to trade. Let's see, what have you got? Ooh, what's that? Aslepius. Powerful missile loaded with toxic chemicals. 
The, upon impact will create heavy radiation that does signal. Oh, that's vicious, man. What the fuck? Aren't there rules? Rules of combat for that? Counterpower 2 requires missile crew damage 45. Normal damage 2. Yeah. This looks like a pike beam, scythe beam. Is it different? That is nearly instantaneous with a swipe. Hmm. How's it getting past shields, though? Does that mean it cuts through shields? It doesn't say that. Okay, do we want to sell anything? Uh, the Navigator, basic lasers, worth 10. Cloaking. Ooh, page 2. Randy. Marcus McLeod now. Yeah, we're not going to do anything yet. Oh, we need some... Uh, we should breathe at some point. All right, let's go see the um, Traveler Merchant. See if he gives us a free gift. Hello. Yes, look at that. Two fuel. It's a minor gift, but that's just a pretty handy gift. Stranger, stranger. See what he's offering. Let's sell some resources first because we're going to sell him some ammo. I can sell him all ten, so I'm going to do that. Oh, we've got lots of scrap here. And we're going to trade. We're going to trade. Colonel Mark II. Don't know what this is. Charge Colonel Launcher. Do I want to try that out? Not yet. Not yet. It's so early in the game, I don't think that's going to be very good. But I don't know. It could be good. Can we get another weapon slot? Like that and that. Oh, yes. Fit to do some damage. Refugee ship floating through the system. Doesn't appear to have detected you yet, or it's trying to avoid notice. Let's hail them. I don't, I don't need that. Okay. Let's go here. Scan shows remote settlement being blockaded by pirate script. Uh, ship. Stay out of this, or you'll be next. I don't think so, mate. Get ready for Pepper. What do you want to do? Toy your ramp drones. There's one shield. Nah, you know what? We're not going to do anything. We're just going to fire at him. Can I get five rooms with this? I probably could if I worked this out. No. Is this the same size, this halberd beam? Because I'm sure I, in this circumstance, I used to be able to get five rooms. Here we go. Uh, no. Should have taken it. Oh, no. All right, all right, all right, all right. Another ship looking for profit. I know. It's a nightmare. I saved your life, but you're going to die soon. Let's go down here. Nice background. Uh, asteroid belt. Small ship struggling to survive. Help shoot it down. It won't last long. Try to shield the ship with yours. So take some damage. Yeah, go on then. Oh, I didn't. Didn't take any damage. And I got some scrap for it. Uh, let's see. Where we got? One, two, three, four, and a bit. One, two, three, four. Do I want to get over there though? I do. Let's go up here. Let's attempt to download it. Look at that. Three fuel. God, we got so much fuel. This is a fan. I mean, it's good. So I don't like uh, running out of fuel, like I said, but it's a lot. Okay, notice a flurry of rays of fire, laser fire glance by the port window. The mantis are upon you. Continue. Okay, are they going to board me? They're going to board. Um, do last minute check us while we check. No, we do nothing. Uh, let's see, what can we do? We need to open some doors here. I'm going to move him in there. We are going to... See, that's five rooms right there. Let's let him in there. Oh, awesome. You can go in there then, mate. I'm alright with that. God, 
Albert beam takes forever. Come on. There we go. Kill off this mantis. Does the halberd beam, is it taking longer to charge? Let's have a look at it. 17 seconds. I feel like it's 16 seconds on vanilla, so it is taking a little longer. Um, here, get to there, and then here. Do I want to go to the store just in case? Yeah. Never know, I might have a pre-igniter. Mm-hmm. Buy a crate of fuel? No, oh, we don't really need any of this. Yeah, I don't need any of that. Hmm. Oh, do I want to do anything before? No, I want to head straight to the store. Okay, they've got cloaking. They've got some weapons. We're going to look at what's on here. Drones, drone, drones. Um, okay, let's have a look at these weapons. We've got chain, burst chain laser. Is that different from vanilla? No, it looks the same. The Hydra. Does a lot of damage. Slow. Oh, it fires three shots in one. If I remember on the Hydra and vanilla, it keeps missing. <laughs> they always miss. Nyx. A powerful high damage missile loaded with a cloaking technology that slows the projectile but makes it undetectable by Mark 1 defense drones. I don't think there's anything like that in vanilla. I kind of like that. But I'm not doing a missile run, so forget it. No, we're not going to buy anything. Wasted a jump there. All right. Let's get here. An automated auto station rests nearby with an auto guard protecting it. The station spots you and alerts the ground. Destroy the guard. Yeah. Let's see. Knowing station will be helpless. Yes. No, no toggling. Nothing like that. We're just going to wait 17 seconds. And do that. I might want to amp uh, get myself another shield. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, well. You know what? You asked for it. I'm going to put the beam weapon on you. Two fuel, 26 scrap. Take that. All right, first section done. Long range beaten, now a little fight before we leave. You were aware the rebels had been finding their way into this sector, but you didn't expect to see a multiverse drive equipped vessel defending the exit beacon. Do we want to do anything here? No, I think we're okay. That would probably, that might attack my, is that, would that attack my drone? Hmm, don't know. Okay, we are going to try and take the shield out first. Beautiful. Do nothing. Right, can we get out of here? Where are we going to go? Civilian parts, unmapped nebula. I really don't enjoy doing nebula. So we're going to do the easy section, civilian. You've entered hyperspeed. Oh yeah, forgot about this. Hyperspeed. It's amazing to think long ago the idea of traveling between worlds. It's a matter of minutes or hours. was nothing but a fantasy. It's amazing that we used to think that. It was just a fantasy. Learn about the Atlas. We don't need to learn about the Atlas. I don't think we remember that, right? Tells us about the zone. Tells us this stuff. Friendly. Uniques. Not unique. Dominant faction. The Galactic Senate. Threat level medium low. Many races. Lots of different things. Uh, exit hyperspeed. Okay. They're a little suspicious of strangers. Keep your Federation ID ready just in case. Shall I contact the guard? Yeah, let's contact the guard. Let's see. Uh, human crew request assistance. Sure. Give us some stuff. Why not? Um, onwards. How, where do, wait. Where do we want to go? Outpost? Do I want to go down there? Boom. Like there. 
There, 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 there. I guess I could try that. Oh, look at those ships. I just, oh, I wanted to see that. I have to keep an eye open for that. That background was beautiful. Your ship is held. We found you at last. Prepare to die. You can at least introduce yourself, mate. Oh, shields. I've got to remember to do that after this fight. Uh, I want to make sure I hit my... My shields first. Um... No, I actually want to go this way, so I hit engines, shield room, then weapons. Miss. Eh, it's all right. Nope, we're not taking you surrender. Deny them mercy. I've noticed I'm getting a lot of uh, enemies with uh, missiles, which won't really help if I have more shields. But I feel that I do. I should do it just to be safe. Maybe put one more in engine. Do I need to save my money? How much can I put in engines? Let's see, twenty-five fifty. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Oh well. Let's go down here. At the source of the distress beacon, you find an idle mantis ship. Oh, someone's just been... I've got to pause. Hang on, I'll be back in a sec. All right, I'm back. I'm cooking. Had to turn something over. Okay, at the source of the distress beacon, you find an idle mantis ship with all of its weapons offline. You aren't sure what happened or what you should do. Scrap the ship, hail the ship. I wouldn't mind having a mantis crew member. Let's see if we can get one here. Uh, okay. Well, they don't have a teleporter. No, let's just get into battle. Hmm, what about if we go this way? Come on, I've got to be able to get five rooms here. There we go. What kind of bomb this is, smart bomb this is. Oh, why did I do that? I should have hit the, uh, that's useless now. Oh, well. That was stupid of me. I didn't think that one through, did I? Come on. Twenty-four scrap, two more fuel. I feel like the explosions are quicker. I feel like the ships explode really quickly in this mod. Like the actual effect of it. It used to be, yeah, because in vanilla they blow up and the parts of the ship slowly drift and then there's like this rhythm where you're done. This one seems to be over real quickly. I don't care really. You arrived at a seemingly ordinary beacon, but scans show a particularly large slip tunnel opening nearby. Someone with an MV drive is jumping in nearby. Uh, well, we don't give in to demands, but it seems you might find yourself in a fight soon unless you satisfy them with a tribute. They've only got one shield, they have a beam weapon and an ion weapon. No, I don't think we are going to give in to that demand. Oh, they have a lot of other stuff, though. <laughs> All right, well, you come on in, fucking have it, son. Let's have it, son. We are going to uh, toggle the amp drones. Yes, we're actually going to set it to tar laser. Continue. Do nothing. And the reason we're going to do that is that we can use its shot to let the basic laser hopefully do some damage. Okay, what are we going to do with the halberd? They're going to board us as well. I've got to try and line this up. Can I get both? Really? Yeah, be all right. Jesus. Come on, fire, fire. All right, that helps. Really need to get rid of the... Uh... There we go. Got rid of it for us. Let's... What should we target? The hacking. It's annoying the hackings even there. Okay, good. That's the hacking down. 
It's good. It's like the battles are just a little bit more protracted. They just last a little bit longer. Alright, that should be over. Heal you up, do up the engines. Yeah, it's not that it's an overly complex battle, but it's more complex than vanilla, which is good. Which is really good. Oh, what is that? Sun, suns aren't bad. Do I want to go to the store? Yes. Transmission from the planet caves at an outpost. Check it out. Buy a mine launcher? No. Mine launchers are shitty. They just fire really slowly. Oh, they could be different in this, but most mods that have them. Not this run. I'll try it some other time. Seems like they're desperately trying to get rid of them. That's how I feel whenever I have a mine launcher. Let's go to the store. Do we have anything to sell? I don't use this. It allows the ship to jump to any previously visited beacon and reveals details about surrounding beacons. Well, maybe I use these details about surrounding beacons, but other than that, I never use it. Do I want hacking? Do I want mind control? I don't really want any of these drones, do I? No, don't need to fix anything, don't need to buy anything, let's move on. Tech planet. Uh, fend for yourself, bribe the rebels. Uh, let's uh, fend for ourselves. Attack the rebel ship, do nothing. Uh, we're going to go there to there. You're toast, mate. Toast. Didn't destroy the shield. That's annoying. Come on, take the shield down. Oh, repaired the shield. Yeah. Fuck it, take it. Why not? I want to get rid of that fight. I want a better weapon. I need more than just this um, crappy little one-shot basic laser. You've discovered a Federation outpost. It's mostly stopped by civilians, but it bears the Federation colors nonetheless. Why would I attack? Let's contact. Maybe they're dodgy. You transfer your Federation ID just to be sure they welcome you on board. If it isn't the legendary ship we've heard so much about, it's an honor to meet you, Captain. It is, you're right. Whatever you need, we'll be happy to assist. Request repairs, don't really need repairs, don't need fuel, don't need ammo. I don't really need anything, so let's just take the repairs. No, why not? It's free. Um, store. I do want a better weapon. One, two, three, four jumps. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that'll do. Come on, decent weapon. Don't need any of that. Decline their offer. Head to the store. Weapon. Okay, we've got a flak. Small lower power flak gun that shoots two projectiles and recharges quickly. Every nine seconds. Two shots per charge. Two isn't many. Vanilla flak is three. And you usually need three. Uh, we've got a little charge missile. We've got the ion blast. What's this? Mana. Manor. Manager drone. Controllable can man systems on your ship as if it had level 2 skills. That's awesome. Additional bar of power to the current system. So it's like a Zoltan, except it's already skilled up. And required power zero requires drone part to deploy. I'm going to buy it. I like that. That's awesome. What are the augments we got here? Tracking flares. The players... Deploys an array of tracking flares that permanently reveal the enemy, disabling their cloaking system. Holy shit, that's awesome. What? You can disable a cloaking system? Uses two power. Oh, 
that's an amazing augmentation. Holy shit. So inventive. Targeting jammer. Jams the enemy targeting systems, weakening the enemy's weapon system by two bars. Okay. If they use that against me, that would be really annoying. Does not work on artillery. Uh, I want to use that. Emergency manual. Well-structured guide on emergency procedures. Adds extra options to last-minute preparations before combat. Oh, my God. This mod is so freaking deep. <laughs> it's great. Oh, I so want the tracking flares. But it uses two power. I'm buying it. I'm buying it. I'm buying it. Is there anything I can sell? Shall I just get rid of the advanced navigator? Worth 25? No, no, no. Let's uh, give myself one more power. So I now have two power for Matana, right? Wait, no, wait. I want to use... If I use him, does it only work... Shit. Does it only work for one jump? Or once it's powered, is it always on? I'm trying it. Fuck it. Okay, where do we want him? Can we put him in... Shields. Okay, so he now powers shields. He didn't use two power. I'm a little confused by that. Okay, well, I now have someone golden shields. Hopefully he doesn't, like, disappear on the jump. No? Okay. Uh, good sir, it seems you're having some troubles with the rebels. I'd like to help you, but I can't afford the upkeep required by this hunk of junk I'm flying. Maybe come to agreement. Hire the mercenary? No, I like fighting mercenaries, even though they're usually pretty hard. But not in this case. The tracking flares. Oh my god, that's awesome. There's no point in using them now. But I can't wait to use them. <laughs> that's great, do nothing, let's fight. Oh, that's so cool. Alright, can we get... Nope. Come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. That's got to do it, surely. No. What the frickity frag? All right, we'll just do that. Wow. Blown away by that. That one beam. I'm blown away by the... Uh, by the I don't know why it's called Mana. Manager? I think that's a typo. By the Manager drone. Um, it's just fucking awesome. I can move him anywhere. Like, if we get boarded, I can just move him down there. I mean, I know it's just crew, but for some reason, just the narrative of that is exciting to me. Very impressive. Okay, where do we want to go? One, two... Yeah, I think we should give ourselves another one in case we need it, just in case there's an event that delays the rebels. So we'll go there. Stumble across the forward scout. Yes, tracking flares. Do they have cloaking? Nope, don't need it yet. Do nothing. Oh, they're trying to get away. That's annoying. Maybe I should use a drone part. How many do I have? 15. Power this bad boy up. He doesn't fight back though, right? No, okay. Okay, that's their bomb sorted out. I need to take down the piling. There we go, we got it. Can I move him? Can I heal him? Huh. No, he doesn't heal. Does he get better? I mean, how does that work? He's got 33 health. Does he heal if he's in this bay? He does! Okay, so you move him back to the drone bay to heal him. Damn. Very good. So awesome. Okay. Um, he's not that useful on shields, though. Shields, manning shields, it's such a small amount that it actually helps. Do I want him on weapons? Because this guy's not going to get faster for ages. Like, if I put him on weapons, watch. Let's have a look. See how much these bars drop by. Wait. Did they drop? They didn't look like... They don't look like they dropped. Yeah, they did. They did. Okay, we're going to have him on weapons. So he's firing quicker. We're going to do that. 
I'm going to save the current crew positions. Uh, right here. Automated scout, aid the civilian ship. Okay, this is good. We're going to go here. Do nothing. Oh, they're going to hack us. Okay. Hopefully they will not hack our weapons. It's very annoying when that happens. That's okay. You can have those. All right. We got him. We got him. Still want a better weapon. Beautiful. Contact the civilian ship. Yeah, we got good money. We got great fuel. Tons of weapons we can sell to the traveling merchant. And let's get out of here. Uh, I don't I remember this. Check the storage. But I did that last time and it wasn't the storage. So let's do explore. Oh, I see. It's just like potential for another interaction. So we'll do that. Intervene to defend the outpost. Yeah, let's do that. We don't... Um, nope, hasn't got cloaking. Oh, I hear my beeper going off. All right, got four shots. Okay. Getting distractions outside. Okay, laser. Let's take out your gun if we can. Lovely. Piece of cake. Two fuel, 13 scrap. Pestilence drone. Ooh, let's have a look at this. I want to do a drone run. All of these drones are really interesting. They make me want to do a drone run. Okay. Pestilence drone breach. Current mode breach. Specialized... Toggle drone, excellent for pestering enemy sheeps, uh, ships and <laughs> sheeps. Toggles between crew stunner or hull breaching mode. I like the name. Don't think it fits for this, though. Well, pest does. <laughs> it is a pest, but I wouldn't call it pestilence stone. All right. Um, toggles between crew stunner or hull breaching mode. I wonder if hull breaching mode literally, I wonder if it means it just moves around the ship. And just puts a hole in. That's kind of cool if it does. And it only costs one power. Okay. Keep it for now. Let's get out of here. Uh, monk Sanctum or NG Sector? I want to see what a Monk Sanctum is. It's a hazardous zone, but let's give it a go. If you enter type of speed, yes, we know that. We don't need that. Proceed to the Monk Refuge. Name, Monk Refuge. Type, friendly, nebula. Unique, true. Dominant faction, Zoltan Ministry. Rebel threat level low. The sector is a hiding place for the most devoted of the Zoltan monks, whose religion prevents them from participating in violent acts. So far. They haven't met me, have they? You arrive at a refuge for the Zoltan monks, a sacred location often visited by devoted followers on their annual pilgrimage. Annual? Jesus. The Zoltan monks have dedicated themselves in entirety to nonviolence. People make this pilgrimage every year across the galaxy. It appears this sector has little more than a single automated Zoltan ship protecting it. The ship doesn't recognize you. Nah, we, we won't. We're not going to cause any trouble. We're not going to do that. That's not us. It's not in our nature. You know what I mean? Okay. Onwards. Let's see what these monks are all about. You notice what appears to be the exterior of a ship slipping through the clouds before it disappears. Let's follow it. It appears the ship was Duskbringers. I've heard of them. They aren't happy to see you and arm their guns. Zoltan shield shouldn't be too hard. Track, we don't need tracking flares, do nothing, but I think we will combat, so uh, we want to try and get this um, Zoltan shield down. Is there a way I can do five with the beam? I don't think there is. There we go, we got him. Do 
Do they repair? Will he repair systems? No. Oh, I guess I'll never know. That's interesting. Return to stations won't send him back to the last room. I can remember that. Oh, I love that drone. Oh my god, it's so good. Ooh! Location of the Great Eye, a giant monolith worshipped by the Zoltans. The rebel fleet, fleet was prepared for the nebula in this sector, so it won't be as effective a hiding spot. Yes, we are definitely going to go look at this. The Great Eye. Oh, look at that! That is amazing! I kind of wish that you could get rid of... Just to take a moment to enjoy the background. That looks fucking awesome. It almost looks like the Cat's Eye Nebula, a real nebula. Uh, or is that a galaxy? No, it's Nebula. Um, okay, you discovered the Great Eye. The location was named after the giant eye-shaped nebula in the distance. The real attraction is a massive cuboid monolith with green lights resting on the nearby planet. The beacon is a well-visited location by both tourists and Zoltan, who take an annual pilgrimage to this location. It is said the monolith has strange, unpredictable powers. Those who can get it to speak to them may find many wonders or horrors that await. Oh, we're speaking, of course. Who would ever choose ignore the monolith unless something terrible happens? Oh, it repaired us. She you pull closer, you can hear the sounds of clanging and movement around the exterior of the ship. Confused and fearful, you pull back out of orbit and inspect the ship, but see no one. Instead, the hull has received considerable repairs. Not quite considerable, but I get your point. Okay, that's awesome. The great eye. Yeah, I wish there was a way that you could kind of clear the screen just to look at this beautiful background. Wow, beautiful work. Okay, what have we got? 165. Should we visit a store? Yes. Seems a small market's been set up here run by slugs. Oof, I don't like slugs. You're certain the monks would disapprove, but their non-violent ways prevent them from doing anything about it. Okay. A grinning pirate captain hails you. Your ship seems to be running pretty well, but it looks like you use some repairs, eh? Uh, nope. We don't need any repairs. If you desire you head now, let's go straight to the store. I don't trust them. They're slugs. Oh, look at all this new stuff. Is there anything we want to sell first? I want to get rid of the pest. I don't need him. Uh, okay, weapons. Ion flak flies three projectiles that supercharged do one additional iron damage. That's a lot. Nope. Eris. No, we're not doing it. What's the pierce laser? Fires four laser shots that can pierce one shield layer each. Wow, so that can get through. Wait, six. So 16 seconds to charge. Three power. So that can get through. It has one shield piercing as well. Wait, does that mean it can get through four shields effectively or three shields? No, let's see what else they got here. Fuel conserver allows you to get back to the fuel you wait allows you to get back the fuel used to jump to another sector during jump speed. Still requires you to have at least one fuel to make the jump first. Well, there's not a fuel problem, so we don't need that. Emergency generator backup generator for using combat. Reduce the power used by combat um, almost by two. We know about that. Engine disabler disables the enemy engines, weakening the enemy engine system by two bars. That's actually really useful. Because late game, they do tend to dodge a lot, and that will stop them doing that. What's on page two? Ooh, is that a ghost? Yes, ghost. Not actually the ghost of dead crew, but rather nicknamed after their supernatural-like powers. Immune to fire and suffocation. That's good. Heals slowly from fire. But if they're immune to fire, that doesn't make sense. Uh, maximum health is reduced. That's okay. Can phase through doors. <laughs> So clever. Uh, what's this one? A Zoltan monk. A heavily religious Zoltan monks live a life dedicated. Active ability. Temporarily stuns all crew in the room. Cannot fight other crew or damage systems. Explodes on death. So we know about that. I mean, is that something you want? And we know what rock men are. I mean, do they want, add one power as well, like normal Zoltan do? Active ability temporarily stuns all crew in the room. I want to get a monk. I just want to see it. There was uh, too late. There's no confirm there either. I just got it. Um, no, that's it. We're going to look at stuff later. 
Okay, what do we want to do with him? Does he add... Does he add a power? He doesn't. Shit, that's annoying. All right, we'll have him on doors. So we can send out a pulse. You know, that would be more useful if not only could he send out a pulse, but he could also um, survive without oxygen. Somehow. I know that wouldn't make sense with the narrative, but what the hell. We're going here... Here, where are we going? Can we get... I think we have to stay down here. So we're going to go here. Here and here. Appears the nearby monastery is in trouble. Slug hacker. Oh, hackers. Pay to free the monks. They want 110. I'm kind of tempted just to do it. Just because I want to know, like, why it would cost that much. They got a lot of weapons. Or at least, no, there's a weapon. It's going to be one of those things when we see inside, look, they've got hacking, shields. They don't have that much. Fight them. Yeah, they don't have much. No, we don't need to do anything. Um, I'm a little confused here. Like, what? They've only got one eye on weapon. This just seems like... Uh, like, there's almost nothing that they can do to harm us, is there? Unless I'm misunderstanding something here? No. There's nothing they can do to hurt us. Although I haven't said that, we also can't. Our basic laser is useless against them. Oh, that's good. Contact the monks. They give us a bit more fuel. Very nice. And we'll go here. Receive a strange hail from ship here. As the wise Sauve Voltar once said, he who lies with the voracious bat dogs awakes with the space fleas of Gamma 6. I don't think that's exactly what he said. I think he who sleeps with the voracious bat dogs. Well... Unless, no, it was sexual, it was lies. Huh? <laughs> the monk sighs. It's a proverb. It means one whom associates themselves with those who are devoid of morals. Oh, it did mean sex. Shall find themselves in a similar predicament. A warning. So I should say, for one's own situation, living within the Federation. A warning well heeded, but not without risk of its own. I'm glad I bought the monk crew. Those guys are going to have a chat. The other monk nods, and the two launch into a long philosophical discussion about moral principles. You can't understand a word of what they say, but it seems your monk has convinced the other of your wisdom, and they come aboard. Right? <laughs> you got another crew member. <laughs> but they're not that useful, are they? I guess we can keep him in here to help with repairing, because he's a quick repairer. I wonder if we're still limited to eight crew members. I would assume we are. Uh, can I go up there? No, I have to go down here, otherwise I'm fucked. And take the long route. Yeah, we'll go right there. All right. A Zoltan monastery has been constructed at this beacon. They welcome you, offering a tour of their temple. Yeah, we'll have a look around. Tour ends up being less of a tour and more of a long sermon about the monk's religion. They're trying to get me in the cult. You find it rather boring. Yes, I do. I find religion very boring. But one of your crew are convinced. No shit. Oh, what? To your surprise, they want to stay behind and join the monks. Well, who? No, I, I want to know who. If it's one of the monks, I'm okay. I hope it's not like... I'm not really attached to any of these. But I hope it's not Elizabeth. We need the female energy, the feminine energy on the ship. Badger. Fuck you, Badger. You never have any skills anyway. He waves goodbye. The monks sympathize you, understanding a hard decision that must have been. As a consolation, they repair your hull and upgrade your reactor for free, up to eight by two points. Oh, very nice. Wow. Well, I mean, should we upgrade something? What do we want to make better? Um, we could add a drone point, I guess. We could add... An engine point. Let's do an engine point. Let's do a weapon. We're spending some money in Vocate Drone. We're giving ourselves some uh, breathing room here. It 
So even if the weapon does get damaged, we can still use it. Since the monk presence of this nebula has disturbed its natural residence, the slugs. The irritated slug ship looking down to retake spots you and approaches. All right. No, no, we're all good. Don't need to change anything. Still no cloaking for you. We want to go this way. I'm saving up my drone parts. I don't want to waste any drone parts. So we're going to... Hopefully this will take the shield down. Nope. Is this going to be one of those five shot? No, three shots that looks like, right? Two shots. Come on. This is a really slow firing weapon. No, we don't want you to surrender. Very slow firing weapon. I want to get a faster weapon. 35 scrap. Puts us up to 71. Okay, that's good. What are you, pirates, mercenaries? You have come here to harm the monks, have you not? Prepare to meet your end, a confused Zoltan ship's most sense. Hang on, mate. Will you fucking relax? Oh, he's so uptight. All right, we're going to have to... Let's use the drone to take down their Zoltan shield. so uptight you kind of asked for this mate just saying it's kind of your fault can't really blame me let's see except that do we want to it was a lot of scrap yeah we'll take that because you know what we understand sometimes people make mistakes even zoltans can make mistakes jump uh let's go down here Near small Zoltan temple has been constructed on a nearby planet which looks otherwise completely barren. Yes, we'll hail them. Hello, friends. I have received your hail, but I'm afraid I'm busy meditating. Safe travels. They in the court. Monk crew. Have your monk. Am I going to get another monk one? I am. Oh, no. Ah, one of us. I will send an automated vessel to repair your hull. Have a nice day. I don't have any repairs. This isn't a fight or anything, is it? No? All right. Here... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to use up all of my uh, space, I think, on this one. Let's see, pull the light. Okay, a Zoltan life pod is drifting out here in space. The life pod has minor damage, but the wreck of a peacekeeper ship drifts nearby. Got to get the life pod. The life pod on board. A gasping Zoltan is board abroad, still wearing their peacekeeper armor. Th thank you for saving me. We were tasked with transporting a monk ship carrying an important Zoltan operative who's undercover who's who is undercover everything was fine till a mercenary hired by the dustbringer showed up and obliterated our ship the monks fled but it won't be long till the mercenaries catch up i'll upload the coordinates to the computer i hope you will help me yeah quest marker and we got uh, a little somebody uh, unfortunately this guy just skilled up elizabeth so we're gonna put you right there so you can take over if something happens okay jump Oh, nice background. Look at that. Come to quiet part of the Zoltan space and encounter an ancient Zoltan wise man who has managed to harness the power of the spatial rift, but seems to have been driven completely mad by the power. Choose your doom. I have a wide variety of options, he demands. This is all part of day's work. Okay, who do we want to fight? Mind control slug men, hard hitting rock men, oxygen taking landy or orchids. Because I didn't see the point of them, so let's try. I guess we'll face an orchid weapon now as well, which will be good. Okay, so... Uh, how are we going to get four rooms out of this? Oop. There we go. Is that an orchid weapon? That looks like one of those ones. Let's see what it does. Oh, fucking hell. It's a breach. It's like a breach bomb. Okay. Well, that's that's uh, impressive. Uh, you guys go down there and repair that while you can. Oh, 
Oof, tons of scrap. Suits you, sir. I got so much extra power here. What should I put it in? I just save it for now. Gonna need it for weapons, I think. Exit so I can go wait one, two. I am gonna use all of my jump space up. Uh, empty nothing. Why? I do wonder why the Zoltan monks hide in these nebulas. What are they hiding from? What are they trying to cover up? Wait, if I go here, fuck it, let's take the risk. We'll go to the store, because I really do need a better weapon. Uh, Woohoo, I accidentally traveled to this sector. <laughs> oh, no, they're not scared. Um, well, if business isn't good, give me a good mark. Oh, I like the crystal burst mark one. It's slow, though. Eh. Nah. Let's go to the store. Uh, okay, what have we got for the weapons here? Chain energy. The weapon's damage increases each time it fires to a max of five. That's a lot. But it's 14 seconds to charge. As well as doing one whole damage. Uh, require power to... Um, chain power, more damage. Chain cap, four shots per charge. In order to I mean, that is a lot, right? But it's going to get to five over the course of nearly look, one minute, ten seconds, which is a long time. Caltrop. Shield piercing two. That's nice. I want this to want to give it a go to see what it's like. Fourteen seconds, though. But it's less than that because I have my, my uh, skill up. So if that's 20%, that's 12.6 uh, minus 1.2. So 11.4 seconds. I don't want it. It's not the one. It's not the one I need. Oh, look. More monks for sale. Amp, ion, recon. No. What do I want to sell? Anything here? No. No, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're going to move on. Um, ooh, will that make it? Yes, I think. <laughs> look at that. It's right on the line. Zoltan ship comes drunkenly out of the nebula. Scrapes again your ship. Get out of my way, you pisshead. All right. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's use the combat drone as well. Take that shield down. What's that weapon? I think that's a pierce. Come on. No, we're not going to accept. Not enough. You hope the Zoltan minister never catches wind of this or the Federation will see hell for breaking their truce. He attacked me! Bullshit. This long-range beacon is almost hidden within a nebula when the FTL drive station... Check the storage. I can't remember what was in. Check the storage. Talk to your crew. Performance. Talk to your crew. Oh, upgrade a system. Let's see what this was. What system you want to upgrade? Onboard tech? I don't know what that is. What upgrade do you want to install? Breach sealant, extinguishers, energy shield, bypass, life form scanner, respirators. Install an arm? This is fucking, let's just do it. What is that? You have one arm slot you can fill. To switch arms, you can disassemble, disassemble, or disassemble, disassemble an arm afterwards, but you will only get 50% of the cutback. Scrap gatherer, magnetic arm, drone recovery, which is always good, um, repair arm. No, I wouldn't know. What's magnetic arm? Let's get one. About to install magnetic arm. Effects. Allows salvaging during time-sensitive situations such as fleet-controlled beacons and provides an alternative low-risk salvaging option. Also increases scrap bane by 51%. No, we don't want that. What, are the, what was the other ones? Install an arm. Scrap gatherer. Will cost me 60. 
Increases scrap gain by 10%. And we're only on... Uh, no, we don't need it. We don't need it. What should we upgrade? Let's upgrade the weapons. Ammo fabricate. Performance upgrade. Seven missiles. Yeah, we don't need missiles. Let's see what that does. Weapon cooldown is reduced by 10%. Can be installed up to three times. Yeah, we want that. Let's get that. And let's look at, keep an eye down here to see if that reduces. Install the upgrade. Continue. Did it? No. Oh, it looks like it, like, it just adds. It takes off of the total recharge time because it just adds a little bit to it. Okay. And we can upgrade again. No. No, do nothing. Let's get out of here. Uh, dusk bringer. Oh, shit. We're going to meet the dust bringers. Okay. Mm-mm-mm. No. Let's uh, see about these guys. They are hostile. They are not unique. Dominant faction, the Dustbringers. Rebel threat level, high. The Dustbringers are much more aggressive than the Zoltan Ministry, and their sectors are a testament to it. Even worse, the Dustbringers and Rebels have been known to work in junction, in conjunction, against the Federation. You'll see few friendly faces here. You know what? Mods, send it to me. You need. I can fix this for you. <laughs> I can do uh, proofreading for you. Exit hyperspeed. Your work warrants proofreading because it's so good. This sector is no place for a federation ship, but fate has brought you here nonetheless. Best to watch out for the Dustbringers, who will no doubt try their hardest to bring about your untimely end. Yes. Oh, yeah. Fight already if they want one. Do we want to fight them? Just to see what we're up against? We're not going to pay them. But we could get the Zoltan crew. I want to fight them. I want to see what these bastards are up against. Could be a mistake. Continue. They don't have cloaking, so we don't need the flares. We'll keep everything just as it is. Power up the combat drone. I want to try and get this Zoltan shield down. What's this dude down here? Is he a guy? Yeah. Why does he look different? Oof, that is a powerful weapon. That's a lot of flak. Let's hit that again. You catch chatter on the other ship, mentioning something about a signal request for ASB backup. Looks like we might have another hazard to worry about. Shit, ASB. We need to finish this off quickly. Want fire. Okay, if we take that down. No, damn it. Come on, come on, quick, quick, quick. Fucking charge, halberd, fire. Yes, okay. Get out of here before target locks. Do nothing. Let's see, is that how that works or did it just end? Oh, it ended, okay. ASB, I assume, is anti ship battery. Uh, we got the quest down here. But that's annoying. Oh, no, I guess I can go up here and around. Don't, don't, don't. Yeah, okay. Go here. Okay. You pick up a frequency between two pirate ships. Oh, we're up to two shields now. Yeah, these damn Zoltan bastards. Zoltan bastards. No, everything's still going to plan there. Crap, Federation! It appears they've noticed you. One of the ships escapes, but the other's attacks. I've got to get a better weapon. This is getting ridiculous. Like, I can't... Um, now I'm going to have to time everything just to even get the halberd working. Not good. I need a better weapon. I should have should have bought that chain weapon. Okay, ready? Here we go. Hang on. Fire that. Okay, that helps. Got it, that'll do. And let's hope that takes it out. No. Beautiful. Two shields. Salvage the extra fuel cells. One more fuel, okay. I wonder if... Uh, what was this quest? Was this for the monk? This is the monk's quest, right? 
Here's your ride just in time. The mercenary ship mentioned earlier is assaulting the monk ship. They won't last long, so you intercept their attack and prepare to destroy the mercenaries. Yes, we do. They're going to board us, and that looks like it's about it. So, toggle our combat drone. Again, we're going to have to time it just to get through these shields. Okay. Let's try this. We're going to do this and this here. Like in theory, they shouldn't be able to harm us, right? I mean, they're going to run out of oxygen, surely. Before we get hurt. Okay. I'm going to fire at the same time. Nice. Yeah, that should be fine. We should be fine. Should be fine. Why is it beeping? Why is it beeping? I've got I'm coming back. Stop that. Confusing. Contact the monks. Oh, we got a Nix missile. You speak with who you believe to be the undercover operative mentioned earlier. Thank you. It appears my cover has been blown. A shame. I will once again have to go into hiding and change my identity. Here, have this weapon I am keeping under my cloak. I no longer need it, and the monks on this ship certainly won't use it. All right, we've got a Nyx missile, um, which, considering our dire situation with weapons, we're just going to use. Let me have a quick another look at it. What does it do? High damage missile loaded with cloaking technology. It slows projectile, but makes it undetectable by Mark One defense drones. So, so that's good. Gets through defense drones. Is this the non-fighting dude? I can't remember. No, no, he's a fighter. He should have fought back. Okay, he did. I guess. Uh, let's see. We're gonna go up here. The husk of an empty trapper vessel drifts into the nebula. Around it lays a few mines, but it's hard to tell whether they're still active. Scrap the trapper or ignore. We're always... We need the scrap. It appears you're mistaken about the trapper being empty. The ship activates as you move in, and seeing your intentions as hostile, they attack! He's going to board us. They've only got one shield, though, so we don't need to waste any energy on a drone. Let's try this new Nyx missile. Oh, fuck, fuck. That's not good, because he'll kill him real quick, right? Well, we can use him. He's a decoy. We'll use him as bait. Okay, now we won't get him out of there. Oh, look. Surprise, surprise. The Nyx missile missed. There we go. That was this. What's this? While well, scrapping the wreckage of the trapper ship, you find a functional mine launcher. Oh, mine launcher. Geb, Jeb, Geb light mine launcher. Two and two fuel and okay. One drone part thirty six. Did I hear a breach up here? I did. Hustle, come on. Oh, that thing doesn't repair. Why did I send him in there? That was stupid of me. He looks so like a person. So I feel like something could have been done to make it very clear. I mean, it did seem clear at first, but very clear that he is actually uh, not a person. He's drone. Um, moving on. Anything we need to do there? Don't like my weapon loadout. A ship bearing rebel colors can be seen waiting near the beacon. Okay. This is a straightforward fight. Very good. Do nothing. Uh, let's fire the Nyx. Why not? See if we can take out the shield. And we can. Do 
Do we accept their surrender? No, we don't. Let's take out their piloting, though. One final blasting web crippled the rebel ship's, rebel ship's hull. There's a large portion of scrap matter left for you to take. We'll take it. And let's get up here. So much scrap, 241. A large blip on the radar is detecting a massive ship moving around this nebula. Its giant size suggests it may even be a fleet ship. Don't want to risk it. I've got the Nyx now, which helps, and I've still got the combat drum. Fuck it, why not? You dive deeper into the nebula and swat it out of the way by a giant tail? Luckily, no harm comes to the ship, but you're left in shock. The object you detected was not a fleet ship, fleet ship at all, but rather a humongous space whale. You sure it wasn't a bowl of petunias? Who gets that reference, huh? Explore the insides of the whale. Wow, how majestic. Let's leave. No, we've got to go inside the whale. Oh my god, what is this? Luckily, space whales are so large you can easily explore inside them. It seems another ship... Oh no, not again. It seems another ship is exploring the whale, this whale. Or maybe they're just the victim of the whale's immense appetite. But a nasty pirate ship locks onto you and attacks. And they have cloaking. So let's try... Fire off flares to reveal the enemy. Are you sure you want to do this? Disables enemy cloaking. Self-reactive power minus two. We've got that. Requires enemy to have cloaking. Yes, let's do it. Continue to the fight. All right, so they have... Yep. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Good. Okay, let's uh, try and take out their shields. They have crappy weapons. Good. Let's do like that. You want to accept their surrender? Nope. Then you jump. Let's go up here. Uh, do we need anything? No, let's just do nothing. We'll go to the next jump. Let's go. Which way should we go? There, there, there. Around that way. Yeah, let's do... Well, no, let's go up here first. Nebula turns to the hide place of terrified rock crew taking refuge from the Zoltan border police. They don't seem prepared to risk your leaving with their coordinates. Probably why. Is they going to board us? That's okay. Uh, maybe that's okay. I'm a little confused by which ones can fight. I, like, I don't know. Kind of screwed myself over with these monks. Not crazy about the monks. Just because you have to remember which of your guys can fight and which can't. Did they board? And look, see, they boarded there. Uh, I think, I feel like what I want to do is this. And then just put all of those in there. Take that out. And then let's use the beam to slice through them. Do we need it at that? Nope, not a good enough offer. Yeah, I get it's it's hard to like look, I've got these guys in here, I keep forgetting they don't fight. So this guy does though. And this guy does. Yeah, I'm going to dump these monks as soon as I get a chance. I could have I could have used the stun, I guess. I should have used the stun. Just to see whether or not it affects all of my guys as well. Um, what's that one? Unvisited location. Planet site anti-ship batteries are detected. I don't like them. Let's go over here. I might want to avoid them. You come to Sultan Trade Supply Hub. Everything the weary traveler needs, provided they have the right documentation. Try to talk your way in. Zoltan crew present present his official documentation and pay the entry fees. Ten scrap. Yeah, we can afford it. Scan the ID that declares the crew member as an official citizen. Collect their fee and let you pass. So you head into 
You head into a ship supply store. It is well-equipped, self-service affair. An order is dialed into a terminal, scrap is deposited, and an item is dispatched from a nearby chute. All right. What do we got? We've got hacking. We've got clone bay. We don't want that. Any weapons for sale? We've got that cow trot, which is slow charging. We've got the heiress, and we've got the nix. We've already got a nix. And we've got some crew. We could do some minor repairs. Uh, decoy buoys. Buoys. Antivirus module, though ineffective against enemy hacking systems, performs well against enemy satellites or malicious viruses. I haven't experienced that, so we'll see. We won't buy it. Emergency generator, we know that. Decoy buoys. How do you deploy buoys during jump speed? Oh yeah, you drop these at the start, and it gives you one extra jump before the fleet catch up. Don't, don't need that, don't need that. Anything to sell? I want to get rid of this. I hate this thing. Already. I haven't even used it, and I hate it. I'm sure the devs are saying, no, dude, we work so hard to make the mines better. Uh, why is my oxygen still so low? It's charging so slowly. Uh, okay. How long have I been playing? Hour and 15. Taking my time. Easing through this. Nice and slow. Down here. Those Zoltan monasteries are usually constructed on the surface of planets. Some, like the one at this beacon, are built on large space stations. Unfortunately, this makes them prime targets for hostiles. A pirate group has taken the monastery hostage, and a Dustbringer squadron is trying to negotiate their release. Help the pirates keep control of the station and fight back the Dustbringers. Yes! No, we're not going to help the Dustbringers. Wait. Who's the... Hang on. I'm lost here. Unfortunately, this makes them prime types hostile. A pirate group has taken the monastery hostage, and a Dustbringer squadron is trying to negotiate their release. Yeah, we're going to help the monastery, but I thought the Dustbringers were our enemies. We'll try it. You swoop into the scene, weapons blasting nearest pirate ship. The Dustbringers are confused, but realize there's no option to, but to fight. Soon, both sides are engulfed in combat. Okay, good. They have two shields, and no thing, so we're going to do this. We're going to... Start that up. The Nyx will hopefully take one of their shields down. Ooh, what's this weapon? That's a nice looking weapon. There's some meat on that. Okay, let's fire that there. Good. All right, contact the Dustbringer squadron. Hmm, when no Dustbringer, you reach out to the leader. Yes, yes, you've made quite the show of dominance. I don't suppose it was out of kindness. What do you want? Give the rebels fake information on our location. Yeah, we want to do that. Oh, it's just fleet delayed. Should have taken uh, some equipment. Going to be martyr because of this, though. He's clearly unhappy with the request. Dustbringer accepts. You can only hope he will give, really give lies and not just rat you out. Well, it's fl well, the fleet's delayed, so he did. He was true to his word. We've got 367 scrap. We can buy the universe. Okay, I've got to go have dinner, so I'm actually going to pause this. Next time you see me, I might even be in a different shirt. Because it might be tomorrow. I'm going to save this. I'm loving it so far. Boom. It's the following day. <laughs> I had a shower and a shave and uh, yeah, so I don't know how that will look in the video. All right, where were we? Okay, carrying on. Uh, jump. Let's see. Actually, I can... Oh, that's interesting. When you reload, it looks like I lose the, um, the bands. Hmm. Maybe it's just because I haven't jumped yet. Okay, let's see. I knew some fallen out dastardly trap. It appears this distress beaker was nothing but a decoy for pirate ambush. Right, bring it on. Uh, do they have cloaking? No, no. Um, I'm to check with each other. No, I think we're good. I think we're good. Meh. Uh, it looks like they're going to try and board us. Try. They're going to board us. Where are they? Over here. Um, up, 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 up. 
Just do that. Okay. Missed. Great. Uh, how would be one, two, three, four, five? Oh, it's lovely, jubbly. Oh, they have a lot of uh, weapons there. Wow. Taking a beat in here. No, I won't accept your surrender. You dick me. Oh my god. Is that going to hit me? No. And let's get you guys down here repairing this. Alright. You can feel the fight's getting just a little tougher now. Just a little bit. Which is good. Everyone back. You're not full health. Why did I do that? There you are. So much money. Okay, I got the lines back. So let's see. Can I go one, two, one, two, three? So I could actually go one, two, three. So I'm going to do that. What is this? Planet side uh, ASB are detecting the system. No, we don't like the ASBs. Although sometimes they're in our favor, not always against us. Dismantle a massive uh, machine floats nearby, akin to a station in size, but appears to be a fully automated and Zoltan made. As soon as it lies, as soon as lies start flooding in through your radio, it becomes clear that this is some sort of automated propaganda broadcaster. <laughs> That's cool. Dismantle the machine. The dust bringers and their fascist lies can go to hell. You take apart the power source for the machine and strip apart its outer hull. Awesome. Propagandas. 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 Unidentified ship. This system is off limits for... Ah, oh, crap. Feds. <laughs> the nearby dust bringer station activates. Ready to attack. All right. Uh, does it have, it doesn't have cloaking, no, uh, it's got Zoltan and double shields. Huh. And, um, that thing. Mind control. Come on, come on, come on, get that down. Okay, that's good, take that off. Hit. Yes. Beautiful. Oh, I got fires going here. Okay. Let's see. Get this down here. Put those out. Good. Do I hear fires? You can hear the fires, that's how you know if they're still going. I don't think so. Okay, let's have you two there. Let's have you two, you three fix that. Get you healed up. Everyone back to stations. All right. Still not great weapons. Still need better weapons. And I think I'm going to need some repairs soon. You hardly have time to recollect yourself. Recollect yourself. Rec recollect yourself after the light speed jump because the area around this beak is in total chaos. A dust bringer, elite rebel, rock, and Zoltan ship in the midst of a dogfight. That's awesome. Okay, who do I want to fight? The Elite Rebel, the Duskbringer, the Zoltan ship, the Rock ship, get the head. I want to fight the Duskbringers. I don't like them. Arrogance. It's the arrogance. It's a little difficult. Maybe I should have fought the Rebel. Just so I can get a feel of it. Because they do have... Um, this is annoying. They always have mind control. Okay. 
But they're always doing that guy for some reason. I don't know why they do that. It's not going to help them. Where did the anti-ship battery come from? Come on. Quick, quick. Get rid of the Zoltan shield. Hit. Come on. Get it. Oh, missed. Alright. This time. Wow, that ASB's hard, man. It's hitting me a lot. Hole points repaired, so that should stop the ASB, right? Yes. Sometimes it continues. Oh, I got a breach. I just noticed these are single rooms. Uh, I don't think that happens that's in the vanilla at all. There are no single room chambers, single space chambers. There is, uh, one of the ships has um, a med bay that you can only fit one person in because of the machine. But it's still a two space room. So, a little bit of trivia for you there. A little bit of FTL trivia. You've arrived at the long range beacon when the FTL driver's charge. Oh, okay. Um, let's explore. Slaver ship. Only 35 scrap for a brand new worker. I do actually need a slave, but because I want to get rid of these guys. But I'm not doing that. We're going to attack. Okay. Uh, do they have... No. The mind control thing's, um... It's real, man. There's a lot of mind control going on. We're going to nix their shields. Come on. Hit. Nice. Oh, beautiful. So them done. Um, do we want to take... Got good piloting. Yes, we do. You know what? We don't need... We need crew. We don't need scrap. So we are going to take that. And we are going to move him into shields. Right there. Let's get out of here. I don't. I want to spend some money, but I'm. I'm worried there's going to be something here I don't know. Haunted Nebula. So that would be uh, filled with ghosts, I guess. Civilian core worlds. I want to do the core worlds. Just because I. Uh, I don't know. I want to see. Hyperspeed. Okay, we know that. Nothing to learn about. Let's see. Civilian core worlds friendly. True. Unique, true. Dominant faction is the Galactic Senate. Rebel threat, medium, low. Locations of interest, Earth. The civilian core worlds are also home to Earth, the home worlds of mankind. Heavily protected by the militia, there is no place to play villain unless you're willing to suffer the consequences. Awesome. You have entered civilian core worlds. This is starting to worry me. Look, three shields with my crappy weapons. A well-protected civilian sector and home to the Galactic Senate, and as such, many important political figures from all over the galaxy. Just go about your business. Don't try anything shifty. And you should be fine. All right. You're immediately held by the Guard. This is a vital sector to the Galactic Senate, which makes the civilian representation of the Federation. We must run a full background check and scan of your ship to allow you through. As you're already a Federation vessel, you should have no difficulty getting past. I'm going to do the inspection, just see if they decide to attack me. Long last after you wait your way to the, make your way to the checkpoint entrance, your crew are taken one by one to a full room scanning machine that examines everything. From your chemical makeup to the contents of, your stomach, of their stomach. Your crew might be a makeshift crew of all kinds, but the militia men don't seem to care that you're, and you're allowed to pass. Nah, nothing. Good. I need a better weapon. Come on, where's the store? Um, need of assistance. Yeah, we can give them some assistance. Thank you. We need to scan the planet for life before we can begin terraforming. But our sensors can't get the necessary power to scan through the atmosphere. We've got a schedule to keep. Any chance you can help? So we could send your crewmen to overcharge their systems, or we can use our long-range scanners. Let's use the scanners. Oh. Single ship on the surface. The terraformers, thank you for their help. 
An attempt to contact the ship. Just as you're about to jump away, the ship takes off and attacks. It's a pirate! It's a pirate! No worries. No worries. We got you. Oh. Let's uh, kill you guys, shall we? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, what was I doing? Okay. Hit it. Good. And hit it. No escape for you, boys. You are officially dead. Those guys don't fight, so this one will have to do. Salvage the extra fuel cells. Three fuel, 57 scrap. So much scrap. Tons of scrap, tons of fuel. All right, we should upgrade this ship, at least, if there's no stores. Are there any stores here? No. Let's do some upgrading. What should we do? Um, okay, let's upgrade the piloting and the doors. And let's put one more in the engine. Oh, we don't need to add power. Let's add one more to the for the weapons. So if it gets hurt, if it gets hit, then uh, it won't take out my weapons. We have more than enough power. That will do. That will do, pig. The ship emitting distress beacon message you. Sorry to bother you, but we're out of fuel. We can't get out of barren sector. Could you help us out at all? Yes, we're going to give you the fuel. Yeah, why not? You give them the fuel. What do we get in return? 63 scrap. Oh, a store. It's annoying, but okay. Ship engineer set up a small shop. Oh, look, I can order. A small inn has been established. So, mercenaries. Do I want one? An NG would be good for the repair speed. And I am going to buy one. What happened there? Did I get him? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, weapons. Fuck, no weapons. God damn it. Really? Let's do some fixing. Okay. Um, defense drone. Another manager drone. Combat drone. Drone, uh, we already have that Mark 1, right? So, what else could we do? Mind control. That might be good, actually, just to stop um, getting mind controlled. Yeah, why not? Emergency generator. Fuel conserver. Drone park crate. What's this? Can be open to empty beacons. Can contain anywhere from 5 to 10 drone parts. Huh. That's kind of an interesting idea. Like... Something you carry with you that restocks. I assume it's not a one-off use, right? Otherwise, it's not worth it. All right. Okay, Carbon. Where should we put you? Should we put you on engines? Have you skilled up yet? Oh, yeah. Let's put you uh, in shields. There we go. Another unmanned ship. Wow. No, don't need to do anything. Please don't hack the weapons, though. That would be annoying. Come on, don't hack the weapons. Okay. We're okay with that. We can live with that. I don't know why I aimed for their drone. Don't need to. Detect high energy. Oh, trying to escape, are you? No. No surrender. Got it. You swerve to the left. There's a chunk of what was once the auto ship flies past. There's plenty left behind for you to scrap from the ship. One fuel, 61 scrap. Um, 
how am I getting over there? I've got to go, I could go that way, but I'm going to go this way, I think. Yes, here. You arrive at a quiet spaceport and immediately held by another ship. Once in a lifetime deal. Trade seven fuel for one drone part. It is a once in a lifetime deal, actually, but I just don't need it. Don't need it. Besides, you have nothing you want to trade. Check the storage, okay? Oh, okay. That's uh, weird. Why does it say check the storage? I don't get that. Talk to the crew. Check the mission report. Let's check this. We haven't been this in this far into the game and checked it. Uh, boss data. No, we haven't fought a boss. Special encounter? No. Crew data? No. Have we got nothing in here? Still nothing? Let's perform a task. Lay a trap. Let's run a salvage mission. Should we get back? There we go, even more stuff. Nice. Board the station and look for survivors. Yes. Hey, we got another one. Good with weapons. Human corpses are scattered across the station. One lone survivor. They mostly come out at night. Mostly. Where am I going to put you? Are you... Okay, I'm going to need to start getting rid of some of these guys. Do, 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 do. Let's go to the distress beacon. You locate a nearby human mining colony where an unknown disease has spread virul virulently. They are setting up a quarantine to contain it. A riot has broken out. Send your NG. Am I going to lose my NG? Let's try it. No fear of cats and disease. Why? Are NGs immune? Um, can't buy such knowledge of human physiology. The infected submit to the quarantine in the hopes that a cure can be found soon. The colony leaders offer a reward for helping to prevent an ugly incident. Thank you. Eh. Didn't pay me much, though. You're held by a rebel ship. When the rebellion is complete, you'll see the safer world we provide. Hell, you... Well, you won't. But you get the point. You get the point. Yeah. Uh, they don't have cloaking. Nope. We can fight. Shut this guy off. Oh, they're going to hack my drones. It's annoying. I don't know what the rules are for... Sometimes when they hack, like, uh, the drone, your drone bay, your drone system, um, it will blow up your drone. But not always, so I don't quite know how that works. Is it the power of the hack? Wait, why is my... Uh... Drone rebuilding after unexpected de destruction. What was that? Did it get hit by something and I missed it? That's weird. I'm going to have to watch that replay. That's very weird. I did not see that, if that's what happened. Get out of there. Yeah, I didn't see that. Okay, I don't like the monks. I don't like it. I like the narrative of it, but um, they're kind of annoying. Uh, let's see, which way do we want to go? Mom. Does that reach down there? No, so I could go there. <coughs> uh, I'm going to live. I'm going to have room to breathe here. But I don't see a way around it. A small, partially automated weapon factory lies in the distance, protected by a single militia. Yeah, let's attack it. What have we got here? Boarding. That's okay. Boarding we can handle. Oh, notoriety increased. Your actions here, justifiable or not, will likely not go over well with the Federation or militia. Wait, was it a Federation base? Continuously performing action like this and you'll start to see negative reactions from certain guards or other Federation forces. I guess it was. Shit, I didn't think that one through. Oh, well. There, 
Okay, okay, so let's put you in there. And let's have you fight them. I don't know why I just did that. I didn't need to do that, did I? Could have done that. Let's starve them out a little bit. Come on, in you come. Well, without a god, do we want this? Is a useless weapon. Oh, let's grab the ammo. Desktop's kind of loud. The music. Oh, well. Oh, wait. Why am I doing that? Close the doors. Close the doors. Yeah, look. There's no way I can get all three of these. So let's do this one. A Federation automated supply drone nearby is on the fritz. Sparking, occasionally sending garble minutes and messages. It must have received serious damage. Um, let's have the NG crew or the engineer crew. Let's try the engineer crew, see what happens. Your engineer tries to explain they're only used to working on rebel auto ships, but you convince them to try anyways. They manage to get the drone working long enough to repair some hull before you... Something goes wrong and the ship turns hostile. What? Damn it. Should have sent my NG. I might have lost him, though. Do nothing. All right, come on. Hit, hit, hit. There. Oh, no, I don't want to fire that yet. Now I do. Slice and dice. Very good. Civilian shuttle severely damaged from a huge hull breeze desperately hails you. They explain that they barely managed to escape from a pirate. They need to transfer crew over to a different ship. Hmm. This seems suspect, but we're going to do it anyway. Oh, it was alright. And you can scrap their old ship. Okay, yeah, alright. You arrive at the long range station. What should we do? Check the storage. Just do check the store. Now let's explore. Let's explore. The beacon hosts an automated ship, but not of the usual variety. It's a surveyor, a class deployed by the rebels to scout out sectors autonomously. If you can capture its black box, you should be able to access the data. Yeah, let's go get it. Okay, destroy it. Oh, look. Let's use our flares. Yes, never mind. Yes, yes, yes. Attack rank combat. Continue to the fight. And now we have mind control, so we can get rid of that. And we... Wait, why is that not... Oh, I'm out of power. Okay. How did they hack my shields? Oh, they didn't hack it. That was odd. Here we go, here we go. Come on. Beautiful. Oh. What happened there? You get it? Nice. Shields, shields. Beautiful. You scrap the remains of the order surveyor and bring aboard the black box. You have two options. Either transmit false data to the rebels to delay them, or download it to get a sector map. Let's download the data. Oh, is it on the sector I'm already in? It was a waste then of it is. And I think it was. And I'm on, my, I'm on the final jump of this uh, 
sector, so that was pointless. Yeah, it was. And there was Earth! Oh, I lost Earth! I forgot that Earth was in this sector. Ah, oh, good replay value though no, now, right? Because now I really want to do it. I want to replay it. Rebel Space. You've entered type of speed, blah, blah, blah. No, proceed to the rebel sector. Okay, rebel control sector. Type hostile, unique force, dominant faction, the rebellion. R rebel threat level very high. Old civilian sector captured by the rebellion. There'll be some Federation allies in it. The bulk of the encounters here will be rebellion supporters. Okay. And are we into a fight immediately with this difficult setup I have? Okay, the guard hails you. Federation scum. I should have known the likes of you would sharpen my shift. Don't think the fleet won't hear about this. Wow. Straight away doubled. Okay. Human Q. Try to persuade them to let them go. Engineer crew. This is a mistake. We are one of you. Mind control. Or advance. Try to escape. Let's do mind control. Did it work? Yeah. Nice. We need a store. I need better weapons. Better weapons. God damn it. Let's avoid it. Because, look, I just don't have the power to... I don't have the power to take it down. Come on, come on. Give me a store. Well, so where's the traveling merchant gone? I haven't seen him for ages. You find a rebel automated scout floating near this beacon. Uh, don't risk it. We'll just take the scrap. A store. Okay, come on. Please have weapons. Yeah, public. If you desire, have some time. No, we just want to get to the store. No weapons. What the fuck is going on with the no weapons? I kind of have to buy hacking because there's no other way of me getting down their shields. But that's not the system I wanted. I didn't want to do that. Damn it. Ugh. Hang on. Let's see if there happens to be another store right there. No. Okay. We, so if we're doing hacking, then we're not doing cloaking. Okay. We have to. Otherwise, I just won't be able to fight anything. Okay. Let's put some juice in this. Let's spend some money here. Okay. We left two left over for the drone. Okay. You watch, I'm going to get a weapon now. And I won't have the money for it. Come across a rebel and make scout. Aid the civilian ship. Power up your weapons. Oh, look, this only has two. Okay. Well, let's... Um, let's do some hacking anyway. What should we hack? Let's hack the shields. Oh, good job we did hack their shields because it's taken our drone down. And hack. Wow. How did I miss that? Oh my god, I keep missing. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, let's go. There we go. Uh, yes, we are going to take him. And we are going to get rid of... Should we get rid of kicks or... Chris, get rid of kicks. Just kick him out into space. You're done, mate. What's this guy do well? He's a good fighter. Uh, we'll put him in. Engines. In the doors. Heel. Cabin. Go get your love juice. Back to one, everyone. Oh, he's got an ability. 
Click to heal all friendly crew in the room. Holy shit. That's nice. That's a great ability. I didn't see that. I should have uh, checked him more carefully. What is this? Pulsar. Okay, we'll go up here. A rebel ship is patrolling this beacon and immediately turns to engage. Intruder on board. You see, look, I have to go with my hacking because of this. Um, and they've got cloaking. Yeah, you know what? Oh, do we trust him? No, we don't trust the rebel. Yeah, we're going to deal with uh, this ship. Okay, so we're going to hack. Wait, I didn't get an option to send my flares out. Why didn't I get an option to send my flares out? Did I get did I lose my flares somehow? Or was it it's not a one use thing, is it? Shit, maybe it is. I don't think I've used them up until this point. Wow, okay, he's locked in the room, so let's uh, mind control him. All right. there and then the halberd beam we've got to take out that perfect that'll do if you kill us you gain nothing but some insignificant scrap we're more useful to alive delays the fleet two jumps yeah i'm enjoying this zone so let's take that that's it right why can i still oh because i still mind controlled and let these recharge before I jump. Okay, now bring those back in. Now, the flares. Why did I not get the flares? Let's have a look. No, I still have them. Hmm. I don't know why that didn't allow me to use those flares. Okay. Onwards. So they're delayed, so I can go up here. Incoming message. Hello, Captain. Says a rebel in an officer's garb. How very generous of you to turn yourself in. Why do they all talk like this? Better boarded, come quietly, maybe lenient. James Mason. All of the rebels sound like James Mason. See, look, now I get the tracking flares and I don't need them. Nothing. Let's hack them again. Where are we going? Hack there. This time let's uh, mind control there so they can fight each other. And oh. hack them. Made light work of them, didn't we? No. Die. Come on, in you come. We're gonna kill you anyway. Hustle up. There we go. Wait, I want to try his hit ability. I know it's a waste of it, but let's see. Heal. That's fantastic. Oh, that's awesome. Love that. It's, uh, they use the same sound effect as like the heal bomb that's in the vanilla version. Uh, where are we at? Shit, I gotta go. So you're gonna see another jump cut. It's just gonna, I'm gonna stop and then I'll just appear looking more beautiful than I was before. All right changed again this is the next day all right uh let's see where were we for you you're like why am i saying where were we okay onwards and upwards let's see Ch -ch -ch. do i want to risk this what is this asteroid field yeah i'll risk going down find automated sense oh my god 
Hmm, that's a little worrying. But I'm going to take a risk here. Because I don't think... Uh, use the flares. Yep. Uh, I don't think that um, it has a lot of power. But we shall see. So let's see, once the, uh, oh, it's going to be able to destroy my missile, isn't it? Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good, we like that. Might be able to get something done here. Good. All right, got it. Thirty five scrap, I'll take that. Everyone healthy, everyone healed up. Very good. Kind of want to go back to the store and uh, heal up. So I'm going to do that. Is there anything I missed in here? Have a look. Drone park crate? No. Anything I can sell since then? No. Okay. Oh, store in distress. Do I have time to do this? That'll be to there. That'll be to there. Wait. One, two, three, four. One, two. I think I have enough time. Yeah, I do. Nice. Hopefully a good gun. Need a good weapon. Rescue the store. Yep, we have to do that. Don't need the combat augment. Right. Hasn't got uh, cloaking. No, do nothing. Oh, it's going to try and hack us. That's all right. You can have the sensors. Not worried about that, mate. You can have that. Beautiful. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's take out at least one of their weapons and hopefully their drone. I kill their drone, didn't kill their drone. All right. Take out the shield. Yes, lovely jubbly. All right, we got it. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? Okay, crew teleporter cloaking. Reach the system's limit. Oh, I can't get cloaking. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't get a warning. Huh, they turned off the warning for knowing how many systems you have, you can have. Alright. Uh, I could get a flak, which would honestly be better than my basic laser. I could try caltrops, no, I don't like that. What's RE missile? Missile. Recycle missiles. Specialized launcher converts some useless resources into missiles. However, it has a much longer charge line. Chime. Oh, so it doesn't actually use any sh missiles. Is that what they're saying? I guess. All right. Um, what drones do we have? Pest. The Pestilence drone. We have the Battle drone. Defensive anti pest or boarding. And we have the Amphi drone. Defense. Special toggle drone that can switch between combat and defense modes before combat. That's bitching. So you only need one. You don't need your defensive drones. Um, I'm going to get that. And I'm going to sell that. Let's sweep these two around. Because I don't need... That can now be my defense drone. Although, I don't know. It might be a really shitty one. We'll see. Uh, anything else that we need here? No. Let's... A little bit of healing. Do I want to go with the flag? 
Cry power one, one, charge time nine. I may as well. I may as well. Okay, he's going up there. Let's do some healing. And we are good to move on. Okay, rather excited to use this new drone. Okay, here. Once you arrive at this populated region, you immediately pick up a distress signal. A small shuttle is asking anyone who will listen for help protecting their family from a rebel ship. Unsurprisingly, no one has yet responded to their request. Yeah, we'll help you. Uh, it seems that a small space dock has done something to, to anger the rebels. The store there is run by his family, and he pleads that you rescue them. He uploads the coordinates of the station to your navigation system. All right. We'll see what we can do for you, mate. Now then, what have we got? One, two. So I go one, two, and in. Perfect. Hello, Captain, says a rebel in an officer's garb. How very generous of you to turn yourself in. Prepare to be boarded. Come quietly that we may be lenient. I don't think so. Ah, they've got cloaking. Set off the flares. Yes. Continue to the fight. Okay, let's drop this down. Do they have mind control? They don't have mind control. Oh, I just realized you have to choose. Huh. You have to choose before combat. That's a bit of a problem because I, I needed it to uh, attack this guy. Okay, we've got to hope that the... Oh, I can hack. Let me try hacking. Uh, we are also going to mind control this dude in here so they can fight each other. And we are hacking, we are hacking, we are hacking. Let's see, how can we... What do we want to hit here? That should do it. Good. They're trying to get away? I don't think so. Do we accept their surrender? Bah! Knowing how corrupt you Federation officers are, perhaps a bit of scrap. No, that's a shitty... Well, hang on. Hang on. No. 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 We'll, we'll kill you instead. Okay. Close everything up. Heal away. Okay, so I've got to keep an eye on how we change our drone from defense to offense. I wonder if it was in uh, rather than the tracking flares. Hopefully you can do more than one thing before combat. Set off the tracking flares and change the drone. Okay, so let's see here. Your ship is held. This is an automated message. Resisting our takeover is pointless. Prepare to die. It appears this rebel ship is run by an AI. Okay, continue. Okay. Toggle or change your amp drones. Okay, so... What do we want to do here? It's three shields. I think we want to amp drone, set it to combat mode. Oh, okay. It removes it and then puts it back in. And I can do the tracking flares. Okay, awesome. Uh, depowers it, though. That's a little annoying. Oh, no. It was already depowered. What am I talking about? Um, let's see, what else do we want to do here? We want to fire at this. Actually, I should have kept it as defense. They're going to try and hack me. Wow, this is way more complex. Shit! This is, like, way more complex <laughs> than I'm used to. Shall I hack their hacking? Shall I hack their shields? I think I have to... Hack their hacking. Yes. That's probably a really bad idea. 
Can I destroy their hacking drone? That's what I'm hoping for. This should destroy, right? Yes, okay. Although they're just going to fire it again, right? Come on, come on, come on. All right. That's good. That's good. Let's see if we can take out one weapon, one shield. That was good, good, good. Looks like we got them. Trying to save um, missiles here by not firing the Nicks. I'm a bit spacey today. I'm focus. Get my shit together, y'all. Okay. You've arrived at long range beacon. When the FTL drives, you can jump to the next set. Uh, do we want to explore? Let's explore. Ooh, I don't know if we want to take that on, do we? It's a slug elite. I kind of want to, though. I want to see if we can get a really good weapon. And we have hacking. Let's attack. Okay, what do we have? Okay, what do we want to set off here? They don't have hacking, so I think we want to move our drone to defense. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we don't need our flares. Okay. Pause. Fire up the defense. Um, of course, I can't mind control slugs, but I can hopefully this will hit their shields. Okay, come on, we can do it. Awesome, good start. Nice. Got to go repair this. Beautiful. Beautiful. Actually, I should check that I can't mind control. Maybe something changed? No. Try and conserve missiles. Okay, accept the surrender. What did they have? One? No. Not good enough. Don't need another missile from you. Wasn't worth it. Okay, recharge my hacking. Get the f, f out of here. Okay, shell domain or error. Don't have good enough weapons, so I'm going to go with easy. Error 606. What that means. Continue. Okay. Civilian controlled sector, type error, uh, unique error. Oh, I don't know. Data entries for this sector are corrupted. Recovery attempts failed. Proceed with jump anyways. Proceeding with jump anyways. All right, let's see. This appears to be an ordinary civilian sector, but something has gone wrong with the entrance beacon. Your computer is overloaded by strange signals and garbled static. Occasionally can be heard from your radio system. Strangely, there is no militia guard protecting this beacon. Instead, a civilian outpost in the distance hails you. Y yes, hello, we are... We are requesting that you pay the mandator, the mandatory fee for entry, please. What? Ah, uh, let's use the blue. Blue is often good. Let's just dodge the fee. Oh, no. Maybe we should have attacked. <laughs> you fly past civilian outposts. They make no attempt to stop you. They will hack a ship on cloaks and tries to block you. You collide with their hull, take your mind damage, but continue on your path. Damn it. Okay. It's a little annoying. Okay, where is the co What? <laughs> what the hell? Is that a bug? Hang on, look. I, oh. I can't fulfill the quest I was hoping to fulfill, right, but I guess I have to go up here. That's fucking crazy. I don't even know how that worked. Okay. There appears to be no store here after all. A hacker hit ship here hails you. Ha ha, you absolute fool, you nincompoop. You fell from my trap, prepare to die. Okay, we need defense drone because they're hacking. So change. 
Oh, it's in defense. No? Okay. It's in defense. Yes, it's in defense. Okay. Do we need the flares? No, we don't need the flares. Do nothing. Fire up our drone. Can we mind control? What's that? Is that a slug? Let's try and mind control him anyway. Let's hit their shields with the Nyx and with the flak. Yeah, I can't control. I couldn't control, right? It didn't work. Mind control? No. Okay. One more hit and then I can fire this uh, laser. Come on, hit the shields. Hit the shields. That'll do. Alright, we got it. We got them. Hackers desperately call for a ceasefire. 71 scrap is a lot. Two fuel, one... I don't know. I need more missiles, actually. Dead. Yeah. <laughs> I just got a little bit less. Oh, well. Um, I'm so thrown off by this. I was thinking that maybe the whole thing was going backwards or something, but nope. A small civilian colony nearby appears to be under control by a group of hackers. The civilians are helpless against their captors. Let's attack the hackers. Fucking guys are driving me nuts. Ooh, what have they got? They've got hacking. So we'll keep ours on defense. Um... Nope, we don't need to do anything there. Do nothing. Okay, so we are going to hack their shields. Fire up our defense drone. Again, no mind control available here. I've got to put some money into shields and engines. Okay. Oh, I didn't think of that. He can stop our hacking. Oh, that's very bad. Oh, this is really bad. Damn it. I'm going to try again. Maybe he can miss? Mm, nope. Alright, we are going to... When the flak fires, we're going to try and time the drone just after the flak. Flak firing. Time that. And the missile. Come on, hit, hit, hit. Okay, we did hit with one missile. Come on, come on, come on. Nope, not enough. Oh, I'm in trouble here. I'm gonna run out of uh, weapons. I need to try and find a way to get the shields down. How am I gonna do that? Well, the fire might help. Oh, that helps, that helps. Okay. Yes, that definitely helps. Okay, come on, come on. Hit, 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 hit. Don't repair before my halberd gets there. Fire! Okay, that's good. We might be able to win this battle. Oh, beautiful. Okay, we're good. A little more complex, that. I like it. More complex battle. Okay, three fuel is good. One drone part will help. 47 scrap. Oh, and a weapon. Not a great weapon, though. Colony is grateful for your assistance. They explained that the hackers were holding their weapon production facilities under their control to create weapons for their ships. Uh, they give you one of their weapons, the Caltrop Beam. Let's have another look at this. See. It breaches. Shield piercing too. Does it mean that? <laughs> Does that mean like a three shield ship? Because then this will work, this setup. It takes 20 seconds to charge, but still. Got to try it. Got to try it. Okay. Um, this is so weird. 
but we got to exit. And this is not the exit. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Okay. Suddenly you receive a hail from the broadcast station. What's this? This silly little fed ships trying to leave. Sure are stupid for falling for that. Yep. We've hidden the real exit beacon somewhere else. Oh my god, so I don't even know where the exit beacon is. Okay. Uh, what do they have? They have hackings. And so we're going to keep it on defense. We don't need tracking flares. No. Do nothing. Okay. Wow. Now, hopefully, I can hack them here. I can't hack them because of this drone. Ugh, oh, that's annoying. Okay, so when everything's charged, we are going to fire this. Let's see if the cow trot will go through. Yes, okay, 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 okay. Like that. Halberd beam. Can I hit four rooms here? I don't think I can. Let's just do that. Good, good start. I like that. So I like the Caltrop, but um, it takes a long time to charge, which isn't good. Okay. And again. It also doesn't seem to do system damage. Which is a little frustrating. All right, this time. Come on. Okay, so now let's see if it does damage. If it goes through two. No. It didn't. Uh, that's annoying. Does not pierce two shields. Okay. Oh, this is annoying. Look, it's just not going to pierce that. And the halberd won't. I'll try it, but it won't. Okay. What are we going to do here? I think I've got to try and somehow get my hacking in there. So, if I fire the flak... Wait a second and then fly a... Fire this off. Got it. Oh, nice. Okay. Take that all the way down. Really want to stop that defense drone if I can. Oh, that's hacking. I'm an idiot. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, I missed him. Heal up. Got it. That was a complex fight again. Wow. Or I'm just uh, rusty. Could be rusty. I haven't played this for a few days. Uh, whew, okay, we want to put some money into this here. I'm worried that we're not strong enough. Mm, let's put one more in engines. Let's up our shields. Okay, now we... Oh, we can find the exit. Okay, so we can go... One, two, three. We can go this way. Is there a way to get there? Potentially. Ship. I don't think anyone would ever find us. Battalion of hackers moved through here and ransacked our station. We're out of supplies. 
Uh, would you willing to sell us some? Should we give them fuel? Give them missiles? We can give them missiles now, because we're not using the Nicks. Are they hackers again? Are they gonna fuck us? No. Oh, now they can help us. Delay the fleet, use a reactor upgrade, or need repairs. Let's take a reactor upgrade. Lovely. That's good. Okay. Uh, we don't have the time to go to you, so we have to go here. Appears a slug and hacker vessel were squaring off at the beacon. Judging from the dialogue you've intercepted between the ships, it seems they're arguing something about ship classes. Yeah, inquire about their argument. The hackers have been leeching ships from the slug shipyards for years. They reshape the interiors slightly and give them some fancy names. Imagine the nerve of that. I hate both of them. Okay, you know what? I don't like either of you. Have fun with that. You want to do something on board the ship? Let's see if there's anything we can do here. Upgrade system. What did we upgrade last time? Was it the shields? The engines. I can't remember. There's it was one of three, right? Was it the shields? Let's tr oh, it costs three fuel. No, we can't do that. Two fuel. No, we can't do any of that. Don't have the fuel for that. Do nothing. How do I see what I've upgraded in the past? Oh yes, I know. You're always pissed with us. Oh, hang on. Express interest in what they might offer. Oh, it's the hackers. They're going to fuck us over, but let's see what they've got. Oh, no, we already have that. We don't need that. Pay for... Um... No, no. No, we don't need anything. They didn't attack us. Okay. We'll take that. Let's go here. Distress. Oh, look at that planet background. That was awesome. Um, yes, let's cut them out. Carefully cut the ship out. Nice. We needed the fuel. That's good. Bit of scrap. Never hurts. What is that? That is obviously something hacked. Let's go up there. So exciting to see this new stuff. The source of the strange garble beacon here appears to be a hacker broadcasting station. This must be one of the stations jamming the radio. Let's attack. Pause it. You raise your weapons and engage the broadcast station. You notice the system's fluctuating. They must have multiple combat orbits on board jamming you. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, we can prevent their hacking. Well, if we prevent their hacking, that uses up our hacking. And they're only hacking engines. So no, we don't... We might be doing this wrong, but... We're not going to prevent their hacking. Do they have... We do want to use the tracking flares. And continue to the fight. Yeah. Unless they're going to fire hacking as well. No. I don't understand. Okay, well... Either way, what are we going to hack? We are going to hack their shields. Do we need the defense drone? Do we need the defense drone? Yes. They just fired hacking. Fire! Shoot! Hit it! Oh, it missed. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, and they shot down our hacking. Okay, we just got to time this. We can do this. We can do this. No, we can't. Not like that. Damn it. Okay, we got to time... After the flak fires. Now. Got it. Uh, who'd been mind controlled? He has. Okay. Alright. This time, let's go. Hit you there. Let's see if we can take out. We really want to take that drone out. So that our flak is doing more damage. Good. Oh, what happened there?
We should have them here. This should be it, right? I don't think we need anything else. Cool. 70 scrap, one fuel. You're about to leave and you notice a small platform and a cache nearby. The wreck of the broadcast station. Open the cache. Is that a bomb? Oh. Okay. <laughs> one drone part. All right. Actually, we needed it, so that's good. Okay. Next. Oh, I love it. They've got all of these hacked beacons. How many jumps have I got? One, two, three, and a bit. So I could go one, two, three. I could do this quest, which I think was a store. I can't remember now. So we're going to try it. Source of the beacon here. Yes, we know this. Is this going to be the same battle as I did last time? Yep, pretty much. What are they hacking? We don't need to prevent their hacking. Do we need flares? We don't need flares. Okay. Oh, we're going to have problems with hacking them again. They're going to have a drone that I'm not seeing here. Uh, no, we want to keep it as a defense drone, so do nothing. Power up the defense drone. Prep the mind control for that. And we're going to have to time it again. We're going to have to time our shield, our um, flak with our flak. Hack. Missed it. Damn it. Okay. Missed it, I missed it, I missed it. Why won't it let me um, select the hack? I can't fire. Oh, it takes a while to reset the hacking drone. Okay. Okay, come on, come on. If I can disrupt that drone right now. Okay, quick, 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 quick fire. You can repair that. Come on. Let me... Oh, hacking's in. Hacking's in. Hacking's in. Hacking's in. Okay. That's it. Should be good, right? Oh, that's a lot. Wow, that is a lot. Whatever that was. I made a lot of breaches there. Alright, we got him. We need drones. Open the cache. What's in this one? One drone part. Okay. A hacker ship hails you. Hello, friends. Unfortunately, I'll pay them not to alert the fleet. We have to kill the hackers. Yeah, we have to kill the hackers. You can't risk having the hackers leak, hackers leak your location to the fleet. You have to destroy them. Okay, do we need the flares? We don't need the flares. Uh, actually, I don't know if we need anything here. Oh, we do need defense drone. What was it just launched? Oh, I missed hacking right there. Okay. Alright, we are going to fire right now. want to stop that missile if I can. That's good. Let's fire the caltrop. Oh, I love those breaches. Look at those breaches. They're awesome. Wow. It's such a satisfying sound when you get breaches. It's just satisfying. Now the pestilent hacker ship has been destroyed. Spores are yours. No cash? Okay. Yes, quest. Now I think this is a store. Please be a store. Compound. A nearby desolate moon. Gauge the rebel and in rescue the space dock. Yes. Okay. Let's see. What do we need here? They don't have cloaking. We don't need flares. Do they have hacking? They don't have hacking. 
So I think we should change our drone to combat. Fire him up. Yeah. Oh, they're going to board us. Okay. That's actually okay. We can deal with that because we can do this. Uh, combat, you are going in to fight along with them. That one go. I can actually just take their shields down with this. I'm being, I'm trying to conserve my drones parts, but eh, might as well just use them. Oh, they got back just in time. I was trying to stop them from getting back in time. Wow, that was stupid of me. I should have taken out their shields. Why didn't I do that? Uh, you can take him out. And you can go up there. Here we go. Get it right this time. And let's breach the shit out of them. Okay, it is a store. Let's see. What do we have? Signal diluter. A module that drowns out distress signals. Can be used to prevent guards from calling for ASB backup. That could be useful. We haven't really had much ASB, so we're okay. Recycler module. Recycler tech weapons. Can be used to convert fuel scrap drone parts or just random junk into missiles. Missiles are not what we need. Um, let's sell the Nix. Let's fix everything. Let's buy the drone parts. Let's buy some fuel just to be safe. We don't need that much fuel. But all right, I don't, don't see how we beat the flagship with this weapon setup. Can we upgrade anything here? Another drone. Let's uh, let's upgrade all of this stuff. We have so much money. We may as well. Actually, I could buy... Can I buy a backup battery? Yes. So I'm going to use that. I can use that to power... <clears throat> the flares, right? No. I don't know. Power the drones, maybe. Alright, let's get out of here. Hmm. <clears throat> Real exit, good. No ship is here. Okay. Oof. Standard could fairly simply in the end. Okay, node 17, Federation Capital. We're back home, boys. You've entered type of speed around the swirls. Yep, we know this. Proceed to the Federation Capital. Type friendly, unique, true, dominant faction, the Federation, threat level critically high. The Federation capital is your final destination. Under siege by the Rebellion, to save this reality, you must kill the Rebel flagship before it destroys the Federation base. All right. You finally arrived at Node 17, Federation capital. You've heard the stories of this conflict back in Universe Zero, the reality where the multiverse tech was discovered. Now you're about to take part in it. Your actions here will either save or doom this reality. Okay, you're allowed to pass through. On the vid screen appear several Federation and NG officers, as well as Eberl Tully in the center. So, you're the multiverse ship I've heard about. You've come a long way, and I can only hope it's all paid off. You're the Federation's last stand against the flagship. If that's supposed to be Akbar, he's a rebel. I'm afraid we don't have any more time to chat. Is there anything you need before you face the flagship? Tully orders the support ships on standby when you command. I can do repairs, fuel, drone parts. We do need drone parts. Let's do drone parts. Seven drone parts. That's good. Uh, do something on board the ship. I really want to try. I can't remember what we upgraded. 
Let's upgrade the shields again. Yeah, I, I don't know what we upgraded before. And I don't think there's any way... Unless it says on here... Special encounter data, crew data... Nothing's showing in here. Perform a task, check the mission report, upgrade it. What's perform a task? They are trapped for the fleet? Run a salvage mission. What's lay a trap for the fleet? Does that just slow them down? We lose 13 missiles. Oh, yeah. We're fine with that. Perfect. Okay. So, repair will give us a lot of money. Repair. There's no store. What's that? Oh, merchant. Can we get over there in time? I'm pretty sure we can't get over there in time. He's disappeared. I haven't seen him for a while. You jump into the system, noticing the repair station signal from nearby. Okay, what do we get? We get five fuel, four missiles, five drone parts, 31 scrap. Okay, that's good. Um, do something on board the ship. Can we run a salvage mission? Yeah, okay. No store. Next repair. What do we get from this one? Five fuel, four missiles. So this is all good. We've got lots. We're going to need these. Let's do it again. Let's run a salvage mission. Oh. Oh, you can only do it once. That's right. Can we lay a trap or is that only once? That's only once. Don't need to repair the hole. Let's talk to the crew. Let's talk to the Zoltan. Look for your Zoltan peacekeeper. Have your peacekeeper help with upgrading the reactor. Oh, it's already at full. Oh, I've got to remember that in the future, though. Okay, do nothing. Going to hit the base. This is the Federation base. This is what we want to defend from the flagship. Oh, great background. Look at that. The Federation base in this reality is just as impressive as the one in back in Universe Zero. Much of the city below has been evacuated, but the Capitol building, the center of operations, is still operational. If the flagship destroys it, the Federation will be powerless and this reality will be lost. Okay, we get a bit of fuel, a bit of scrap. No store. I could go down here, see what's happening. Oh, look at that! Oh my god, look at that. That looks like Stalingrad from the first Call of Duty or the from United Offensive, was it? Whichever Call of Duty had uh, Stalingrad. On the nearby planet, a massive battle is raging on. Federation drop strip ship is still trying to make its way through the atmosphere. Respond. How would you get down there so quick? It doesn't matter. We're supposed to be bringing reinforcements. Seek out the Federation soldiers. Yeah, let's do it. You find the Federation battalion. They're in bad shape and are cornered... In the city center, their commander, a young man by the name of Conrad, gratefully receives you. We don't have much time till the rebels find us and rain all hell on our forces. We need to be prepared as we can. If you can help in any way, it'd be greatly appreciated. Let's give him some ammunition. What do you give us in return? A dude who can fight a little bit. Okay. Oh, we can get rid of this... Uh, malt monk, finally. And you are a fighter. Where are we going to put you? Let's put you roughly midships. I'll try and remember that you can fight. In fact, you know what? Can I change your name? Nah, I won't remember. I can change it probably in the in this screen here. I can't. Oh, it's Bruce Garrick. Okay. Uh, what should we call him? Call him Slugger. Um, all right. Onwards. Back to the base. And let's fight the rebel flagship. This is it. No turning back. Now this looks the same. 
Don't know the battle might be slightly different. Who knows what will happen here? Okay, so. Powers up its artilleries and approaches. Right, so we need the tracking flares to destroy its cloaking. Yeah, that's okay. Yes. Well, why can't I change what my drone is doing? Oh, I gotta remember that. That's annoying. Oh, I might lose this now. Damn it. Damn it, so I can't, I have to change the drone before I do the tracking flares. Okay, well, then I guess it's okay. Now then, do I want to, I kind of want to um, actually mind control him instead. So let's do that. We're going to... Mind control him, so that I don't miss. I'm gonna fire here. Now then, I wanna try and get rid of, let's put a lot of holes in this ship. That's good, that's good, okay. Hold the flak until the halberd's ready. Halberd's ready. Okay. And then the caltrops can destroy here. Right? Yes, we'll take that. It should be good. I've got it now, right? It's kind of easy. I won't speak too soon. Maybe it gets really harder, but that was pretty easy. Particularly because uh, it didn't have cloaking. Like, the first round without cloaking is actually kind of simple. Okay, we're going to wait. I mean, I'm not getting a store. I might as well use up my, um, some of this scrap. What shall I put it in? Let's protect the weapons and protect the drones. Let's protect the shields. That's good. Alright, what's the second fight? The second fight with the flagship is... I think this is the hacking one. This is where they try to hack you. Yes. Okay, so now I definitely need to change this over to defense. So continue, change from combat to defense. That's good. Uh, I don't need the tracking flares this time, right? Okay, so now I have to figure out a way to get my hacking in. So I think I just have to try and time it again, like I did before, because they've got defense here. Why didn't it shoot that? Fuck! Quickly, 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 quickly. I need to destroy their hacking. I have to destroy their hacking. Otherwise it's gonna destroy my hacking. Please work. Is that, uh, I did it? Oh, I did it, I did it, I did it. You son of a bitch. Uh, let's mind control him. We don't want him repairing that. Oh, this is their multiple drones, right? Yep. Oof. Okay, we need to <laughs> uh, send in the slugger. Come on, slugger. Get in there. Vent that. Come on. Get my, I need my hacking to reset. 
Hacking reset. Okay. Okay, so what do we want to hit here? We want to hit their shield. And uh, we want to hit their missiles. The Caltrop. We want to... We definitely can't let them get this back. So I think we have to put yet another hole in that. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's get rid of this dude down here. You can go up there to repair. Let's get you down here, heal you up. Let's have you repair that mind control. What am I doing? I'm not watching what I'm doing. I'm screwing it up. Mind control this guy. Take down their shield. Okay, we should be able to do this now, right? Let's take out their weapon and, and their drone. Good. And then this doesn't actually do any hull damage, does it? The cow trap? No. Hit before all of their drones hit us. Go, go, go. Very good. Let's heal you up. Huh? Pretty good. Now, last one is the Zoltan shield and the pulse. It does that pulse firing. Okay, do I have enough? I don't have enough for that. Put the money in that. This is a weight. All right. Here it is. You're not certain how it's able to keep fighting. Okay. Oh, they've got the teleporter and the super weapon. Be prepared. This is it. So they're going to teleport in. Hmm. Okay. Do we need the tracking flares? We don't need the tracking flares. Drone. What do we want? We need this on attack. So, because we've got to take that Zoltan shield down. Put that on combat. Continue. Don't need tracking flares. No. Okay. Last minute checkups. Let's see if that actually comes in useful now. Convert some scrap into missiles. Convert some scrap into drones. Last minute repairs. Add a hole point for four scrap. We may as well. Okay. Uh, I can't fire... I can't fire my hacking yet. It's okay if we kill our own dude. It's okay. He doesn't need to make it through this. But we do need to take down this Zoltan shield, so I'm going to hit as many rooms as I can here. Come on, come on, hit it. One more, one more. Okay. Power up, we need to try and dodge the super weapon. Oh my god, that's amazing! <laughs> I can't believe we did that. Wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm screwing up. I'm not watching what I'm doing, you muppet. Okay. Let's put some holes in their ship. And again. Let's get rid of that. Uh, mind control. Not bad. I mean, I'm playing it fairly poorly, which means that it's kind of an easy battle. Any uh, any good players are looking at this and thinking like, dude, this is a terrible performance. Okay, we need to repair this. Almost there. Almost there. 
Could even afford to take a couple of hits here. It wouldn't be the end of the world. Oh, we got it. Who's uh, mind control? You are. Yes. Victory. That felt easier. The flagship definitely felt a lot easier. All right, all different, different end screen, slightly. The mod for flagship of this reality destroyed. The rebel forces are weakened and the Federation troops, along with reinforcements, successfully defeated the rebel forces of reality. Kicks. Oh, that's the guy who left me a message. Fucking good job, Kicks. Uh, Agent the Cat. Was that the guy, other guy who left me a message? I don't know. We're going to look at these names because they've all done a really good job. I've got hundreds of hours of enjoyment. More enjoyment to have out of FTL because of this mod. They should be really proud of it. I love the backgrounds. I wish there was a way you could see the backgrounds for longer. Like, but look at this background. This background for the Federation base is fantastic. So much better than the vanilla version. You know, I mean, there's only there's a limit to what you can do when you're releasing a game, right? So there's some stuff that they probably had to say, well, that's just going to have to do. But this background is absolutely fantastic. Oh, look, here's all of the people who've worked on it. That's a lot of people. Holy shit. That is a big mod team. That's basically a full development team. What was that? 100 names? Maybe less. 60 names? Yes. People do actually read this far. Is that it? You don't have one of those Marvel after action things, do you? No, see, that's a low score. Okay, what was the uh, ship that we unlocked? Let's have a look. Um, what? Oh, <laughs> this ship is intentionally unavailable. Please stop complaining to us about it. What? I don't know what that means. Okay. So I didn't unlock a new ship. Or am I going crazy here? All right. Well, I've still got to win it with this, so I'm going to play it again. Um, all right. So that's it. Finally, I finished it. I got through it. Um, fantastic work. Remember to download it, Multiverse. Don't be put off when they say there's a few posts and a few threads that say it's difficult to install. You have to go back a version and all that. It's really easy. There's like, you can download a whole pack and you have to run an executable that will revert your FTL and it will back it up to an old save. But it's honestly, it's very simple. Uh, I think there's a video of it somewhere. If I f can find it, I'll put a link up somewhere. But um, yeah, it's definitely worth it. If you're an FTL fan, it's a must have. All right, Nuggets. Good job.